We're doing something a little different today. I am going to a show at the Star Theater in Portland, which is downtown Portland, and uh, I'm seeing this band called Knower. And the show's not gonna get out till 2.30 in the morning, so I don't wanna drive after this show gets out, so I'm going to be urban stealth dwelling, and I'm not really sure how this is gonna go. I've stayed in a lot of like suburban areas, but never like downtown, downtown. So this will be pretty interesting. I'm thinking I'm either gonna have to find like a, a metered spot and the, the metered spots stop charging at 7 p.m. and then start up again at 7 a.m. So I might have to leave pretty early in the morning. Or maybe I can find a pay lot with a parking attendant and talk to them. And it would be cool to like walk the city tomorrow and uh, like find a place for breakfast and just kind of see what there is to do in downtown Portland. So that might happen or it might not. We're just gonna see what winds up being more convenient. Okay, so I went to a private lot, and the cool thing about private lots is that you can stay there as long as you want. And I thought it might be nice to just stay there 24 hours, spend all day walking around Portland tomorrow and just check the city out. Unfortunately, it would have cost $50 to park there for 24 hours, and I'm really not into that. So I'm at a two hour spot right now, and fortunately it's not enforced after 7 p.m. and it's almost 7 p.m. right now. So I'm probably not even gonna pay right now. And then I can, I'm good to spend the night here. And then tomorrow morning, if I wanna pay, I can stay till 10 a.m., which is pretty good. That'll give me time to walk somewhere, get some breakfast, get a cup of coffee and get out of town. I would like to see the city a little more, but I'm also not much of a city person. So we'll try to get a feel for it tonight. And I don't know, I'm excited to get back hiking, get back in the mountains since my knee is pretty much totally recovered. So yeah, let's do it. I feel like I'm getting ready for an expedition right now. Um, got my mask, got my wallet, got my keys. I need to dig out some earplugs so I don't go deaf at the show. Also, I got my haircut today. Do you guys like it? I know a lot of people have been commenting that like they can't tell that I'm a man because I have long hair. So I decided you're right, I got a haircut and now I feel super pretty. So thank you for the suggestion. If I'm honest, being in the city has me super on edge. It's just like, I think I've picked a nicer neighborhood to park in, but I don't really know. And also like, regardless of having my van down here, just, I'm not a city person. And so being like really deep in an urban area, I'm just like, oh, I just want to leave honestly. But I also really like this band. So I'm excited to see them and uh, yeah, let's go have a good time. Cities are overwhelming. That was a great show and I'm really glad I went to it, but oh, it's just too much, too much stimulus. <laughs> and I just got back to my van and all of the windows are still intact. Well, it was a good show, and I snuck back into my van without anyone seeing me. Actually, that's not true. Uh, some people definitely saw me, but I don't think anyone's gonna care. Um, I don't know if this is the quietest spot, but I don't know if a quiet spot in this part of town exists, so whatever. And then I'm gonna have to get up 
at 8 tomorrow, buy some parking. There's like a brunch place that opens at 9 around here, so I'm going to go there, get some coffee, get some brunch, and leave Portland. So I got a few comments on my van build tour asking me like why I decided to put my bed on the passenger side and then have the, the door open to the street side, which is in some ways less than optimal for the van build. But right now when I'm sitting here parked on the street, it's nice because uh, I'm slanted this way. So like my mattress isn't sliding off into the void over here. And I, I think like if you have a cot style, I've heard it described as sleeping north to south I'd rather have my bed be on the sidewalk side because um, there's a little bit of solace in the fact that if someone hits my van, they're just gonna hit this side and they're not gonna hit me. All right, you can prepay up to two hours in advance. So I happened to wake up a little early thanks to some sort of truck barreling down this road. And uh, yeah, now I've got three hours here before I have to leave. So I'm gonna go back to sleep. I did not get a lot of sleep last night. It was pretty noisy here, but at the same time, I still did sleep, so with a, a grease ball breakfast, artery clogging breakfast, and a cup of coffee, I'm feeling pretty good. So I'm gonna go to Forest Park and work off my breakfast a little bit, and then I think I'll probably leave the city. Uh, might be wondering why I have basically been eating out 100% of the time since I got to the city. And I think the reality is it's just simpler. I could cook in the back of my van, but then I'm giving up some stealth, like if it smells like I'm making breakfast, if there's steam coming out of the back of my van, someone might take notice and they might not like it. And also, when you go to a restaurant, you also get a bathroom for free. So that's nice. If I made breakfast in the back of my van, I don't know where I would have gone to the bathroom this morning because pretty much everything in the city is for customers only. So that's uh, another reason I don't spend too much time in the cities is that it's just, it's expensive and it's hard to take care of your basic human needs. Um, I have two full bottles of pee in the back of my van right now, so. It is what it is. Okay, I'm impressed. I can't believe a place like this exists so close to a city center like Portland. This is awesome.